Is that it? That's two out of ten. Oh, that's, uh, I was confused as why well. I was only showing one thing. You only have one skill. Yeah. It's coming. Wait. It makes sense that's the only thing he cares about. Because he's a fat ass. Wait, why is the one laying on the floor? What happened here? Oh my god. Like, I thought he was calling the police. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> killed my gnome! Someone's moved it! Oh, but that was you! You probably ran in there and kicked it over like a dickhead. <laughs> I, I hope His breakfast wasn't ready at 5.45 <laughs> sharp, like always. Eat yeah, eat more shibooty hook, Andy. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta eat the most shibooty hook you can. <laughs> shibooty hook does sound like it should be a thing. <laughs> shibooty hook. Or at the very least, a place in Maine. <laughs> shibooty hook, Maine. I could totally hear, I could totally see Aaron talk about having like, Oh yeah, my friend Matt's got a, got a camp up in shibooty hook. Yeah, he summers in shibooty hook. <laughs> It's true. I mean, it's not, it's not that big. It's a small no. thing. It's a couple beds, you know, yeah. fireplace. But it's it's nice if you want to get away. It's about three hours deep of Bangor. <laughs> deep. Three hours deep. It's underground. It's underground. Uh. I was finding out that there apparently are, like, when you get north enough in Maine, there, the towns don't have names anymore. They're just, like, numbered. Like they're, num- they're just numbered, like, Junction 105. That might be a junction, not a town. Well, but basically, just they're, they're, you have these kind of areas that are just... Like around a an intersection, they build like a bar and a mini mart, and that's basically the entire town. Wow! And they're just numbered. That can't be a town, though, can it? Well, I mean, I I don't want to get into like a whole. Did you write the, the gnome? Yeah, you did. I don't want to get into a whole semantic argument about oh, right. what constitutes a town or not. But it just that there are locations. It up, might be closer to be a vi- be a village. It could be. Village is almost plausible. I, you could see that. Because I don't oh, feel like villages ever really have anything other than like a like, couple like of shops. an enclave. Oh, an enclave. That's quite something. <laughs> it, does, it sounds a bit too fancy for me. <laughs> it does, yeah. I, uh, it sounds like there'd be, like, I don't know, robed meetings and such. What's going to end up happening is that like everyone who listens to this is going to be from Maine. And they're going to be like, well, fuck you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, well, fuck you back. Your athletes steal people's teeth. Oh, wait. Counting the law? Lo- counting the oh, loot, not lost. I think you're counting the law. Uh, okay, stay, do we want to stay late to improve your relationship with your gang? <laughs> Wait, stay late to improve your relationship with your the gang. Yeah, all right. <laughs> sure. Check. Deal. Maybe stay late to work on grammar as well, if we have time. Would you like to find out more about opportunities? Never. <laughs> I never want to know more about an opportunity. <laughs> If this game knew anything about me, it knows that I do not take opportunities. <laughs> All right, come on, Dylan. You, well, well, Andy's working out at, his, at it in Shibuti Hook. We need you yeah. to, to carry. Oh, what, what, so, yeah, what was that? What did he make? Leftovers. Damn, what is it? Um, have quick meal fiendishly? That doesn't instill confidence. Autumn salad. You made another autumn salad. Well, you know, one day he's going to make those really well. He's going to be know, an autumn salad master. What season is it? Is it autumn? No. Because otherwise, I feel like maybe what you're doing is you're just making things that are completely out of season. Well, I'm sure it's all made out of rotten swamp food anyway. <laughs> Wait, are you talking to the fridge? Oh, just, you're talking to yourself in front of the fridge. Oh, okay. Huh. Please do something. Go back and... Go back and... Uh, okay, let's fast forward. This fucking here. game, man. I... I mean, I get it. You're not going to create this super complex AI. But, like, the thing where that's all they do because it's all they have is boring. The yeah. fact that they... I feel like when you put them on their own AI, they need to be able to buy things and work towards goals. Do we, do we want to buy them something? Do we want to give him something that he can spend his time doing? I mean, he's cooking. What would Andy do at home? Because you got to stop reading that stupid fucking book, dude. <laughs> that one book. You've already read it twice. <laughs> By Grant Rodia. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, what would Andy like? A video game system? Do, that we can't afford that. We can't, what do we have for uh, money? $300. Oh, we can afford it. A lot of things. What can we buy? Oh, my God. Popular store items. I'm not... Gonna... T- a telescope? Dear EA, stop. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, let's take Entertainment? A Is that a... We could put more stuff outdoors, like an outdoor Solar grill. function. Lighting. Entertainment. Here we go. So all three of those all require you to buy into this stupid thing. Yep. A foot and handball. 
new snowboards for a child. What would they play together, do you think? Like a ball, like a soccer ball, or a... A fish tank? That's not a thing uh, that you can actually engage in. An outdoor chess table. Yeah, why not? Because we can't put out an easel, you hate art. Right. Oh, maybe you could work on that. Maybe that's how you express your, your hate of art, through art. Well, I think that's, our option is basically the easel of the chess table. I'm fine with the chess table. Outside or inside? Oh, we don't have chairs! We'd have to buy two chairs, yes. How much money is the chess table? $300. So we can't afford chairs if we get the chess table. Well, let's see. How much are the chairs? Well, you said we have $300. We now have $24. Well, they're not going to be $12p each, are they? You don't have P, dude? Come on. Well, I don't know. This isn't Harvest Moon. M money? They're $40 each, but this isn't going to work. Okay. Um, Unless we sell some walls. <laughs> we can sell the toilet. <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're barely using it. Mm. A music box with a gnome on it? No. No. <laughs> we don't need any more gnomes. Fuzzy Logic picnic basket? A water arena? I don't know if that's a good idea for the swamp. This is huge. How much is it? Three hundred fifteen bucks. Huh. But it's a bit large for our swamp property. That's okay. We don't need a. We already have a water arena. <laughs> We're in. It. We live in. It. We have. A, we have a creepy swamp that we live <laughs> on top of. Would you. Be... You always label things negatively. Um, what about a snow cone machine? Or a buffet table? How about a goddamn thing you can use? I mean, I'm, I'm looking at entertainment. A horseshoe court? Yes, on the deck. Put it against the far end. Rotate it. Yeah! Horseshoes! <laughs> that is the absolute best placement for horseshoes <laughs> I can think of. J just overlooking swamp water. <laughs> oh, don't miss whatever you do. It's it's like when you're at the mini golf course and uh, your ball goes in like the creepy blue water. Yup. Like the, I don't want to touch that, dude. Are you not even gonna care that a horseshoe course appeared in your house? Well, it's not exactly gnomes, is it? No, I suppose it's not. Yeah. We, how much did we spend on that? Ah. Uh, almost a lot of money, like two hundred eighty dollars. We spent a long time earning that money too. Yeah, we did. God, this game is so slow. Oh, he's finally going to bed. Well, it's... Fast forward. It's 5.37 p.m. It's fast forward on that. Oh. I think we oh. should just leave this on fast forward from now on. The game really appreciates our help. After all, it's unlikely the loot would have been counted in time without... Oh, that's right, I'm a criminal. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this. You've played The Sims more than I have. If, in between this episode and next episode, we were to let this run full speed... No interactions for 15 minutes. Would that work? Is there something that we would have to engage in, like the little pop up? Like we would have the pop up. Other than the little pop up, no, we could just let it run for 15 minutes. We may want to try that. And just see where we end up? Yeah. And just like push things along a little bit faster than this very slow progress of you making 100 bucks a day and me <laughs> sleeping in my gnome room. Well, and we, we would like to get some feedback. Oh, good. We're in town again because why not? Are you in a burned out factory? Um, I guess that makes sense for a criminal. Yes. I'm just standing in front of a burned out factory. You can rotate Reading this, you know. Murder in Pleasantville. Yeah. Are you serious, dude? You've got horseshoes at home. <laughs> Go home, Andy. Go home and play horseshoes. <laughs> so, yeah, I, we can give that a shot. I, and anyone else who's, you know, anyone who's watching this, you know, let us know if this is boring as hell. Uh, more importantly, also, like, rather than do that, let us know <laughs> how it could be more enjoyable. We have both. I'm very clear on the fact that it's boring as, as, as well. Get out. We, we don't need any reinforcement on that front. So I guess if you've got an idea of ways, if, should, we, should we add in some sort of elder Shoggoth god that <laughs> lives with us and is big and fat and green? <laughs> should we introduce some sort of metagame around uh, rolling know, dice rolling or, dice or flipping coins or cards in some sense or like looking at like the entrails of goats yep should, should we um just sell everything and have them live in a vacant lot with a chair in the middle <laughs> <laughs> and it's a fight to the death for the chair <laughs> I, it's really it's up to you you 
don't, control the narrative. Don't, don't read a book. Don't. <laughs> don't. Oh, thank God he's reading Point Farmer, the story of Grant Rodiak. Oh. Thanks for making it to the end of our video and seeing this little end bit that we've put together. If you like what you saw and want to see more stuff like this, subscribe and like our videos and put a bunch of comments telling us what you liked about it and what kind of other stuff you'd want to see. And if you didn't like it, tell us why and subscribe anyways so that you can see if we do better next time. Thanks, bye!